Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing more Kingdoms and Castles. My my dead farmer's still hanging out here. <laughs> Let's see, what next? I know I know we want to build more towers, I remember that. An actual stone. We just need to find more stone. Stone is the thing. So I really don't think there is any more stone available on this island. I don't know what the best way to branch out to other islands is though. Wait, wait. Uh oh. <laughs> I have literally no, like, <laughs> I've got nothing in town defense. Yeah, they're stealing from my treasury. No, yeah, no, I didn't need that. Just, just take it, guys. No problem. I'm burning my houses. Very cool. I probably should have just demolished this tower and built a stone one there, to be honest. Wait, we're going to get that one. Okay, we got one. We saved some coins. Yes. These guys are stealing my coin. Are they like eating it? What the hell? <laughs> Why is it? They're dropping a lot. It looks like butter. <laughs> uh, I think, let's see, we lost a hovel. Where? Oh, here. Rebuild, please. Let's speed up time. So I think I think number one thing we, we need to get some actual defense because how are our food stores running low? We I have no. You're lying. So I, I think that we probably should just build walls. Like I I, I didn't really leave any room though. This would be a really expensive project to build walls. I I kind of forgot that you could do that to be honest. Like. Just walling off your city makes it able, or makes it so the Vikings can only enter one point, which is nice. Or they have to like bash down an area. But we don't have the resources to do that, I'm sure, right? There's a, what is it? Yeah, a pier. Oh yeah, that's really expensive. Hey, wait, what? Eight were kidnapped by a Viking. Oh no. I, I was not aware that people could be kidnapped now. I just need more, like, how do I, you know, we, we need to get across somehow. I still don't know what this means. Build an outpost, name this out. How do I do that? Stores goods, foreign merchants. Oh, wait, duh. <laughs> Build an unclaimed land to start a new settlement. Provides a small amount of starting resources when complete. That's really cool because before, what you, if you wanted to expand to any of these places, you had to literally just bridge it or yeah bridge it like that was it i think just and you know sometimes you'd end up bridging like this <laughs> or this or this and it was really far so that's actually pretty cool but we need a lot of stone yeah that's so annoying all right we need a lot of stone and gold i guess you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna crank up the time for a bit, and we'll just we'll just hang out and relax, mm. and I'll get some more people to come in, and then hopefully we'll we'll gather up enough stone to build an outpost because I really I think I'm gonna need one at this point, right? Yeah, we're we're <laughs> we're gonna need it for sure, cause, but we're gonna need stone, and I think this is the the best place. Well, I actually now that now that I know you can just slap an outpost on anywhere, should I go up top? Because there's a really nice open quarry available. And that's, oh wait, that's, oh, that's, we're going up top. That's double stone. And I could probably easily defend this island. I could just wall a section off. That's, we're going there, we're going there. Okay, we finally have enough, after time-lapsing for a few years. Hmm. And we're pretty much full on beds, but let's see. We finally have enough for an outpost, so we're gonna go all the way up here. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. 
I don't know how this works though. Like, am I starting in basically a new kingdom? I don't. I guess we'll find out. Or is this just an extension of Dragon's Bench? I'm assuming. I, I don't know. Am I gonna have to like ship peasants over here or something? Let's see. Let's start it. Let's start it right here. Right there. Oh, okay, yeah. So <laughs> we get a bunch of homeless peasants over here all of a sudden. Oh, so wait, it's a new. Click here to name your island. Oh. Um. The island of Bruggen's Dent. Our highness has decreed that the island. Oh, click here to your island to the hunch to be known as Bruggen's Dent. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's like. Oh, that's super cool. So if I come back over here, oh, that's really cool. So you can have basically like other other cities within your kingdom now. You own a whole kingdom. That is really cool. That's a really cool mechanic. Seems like it might be a little bit to manage, but like if I get the self-sustaining and just, oh, but wait a minute. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> wait a minute. So I can't get this stone. I need to like have like a shipping thing, right? Oh my God, I don't, I don't have to figure this out. Cause I, right now the stone is just being used for this place, apparently. Oh boy. Well, okay. So, too far away from a road. All right. Um, all right, build some roads. We're gonna need some farms. We'll do, oh, but I have everything unlocked, which is, which is pretty cool, so. Let's do this. We'll have a little bit of farm farming going on here. We'll just, we just gotta sustain these guys for now. And we'll put a granary across the street, I think. I mean, what's the big one? Oh yeah, because we're pulling from their resources now, so we can't afford that. Yeah, they're all home. That's probably gonna be a problem, right? They're all homeless. <laughs> yeah, they're they're not happy. <laughs> but I have a whole new job priority, right? Yeah, builders, farmers, windmill workers. So they're all building. There we go. They have a house. So they're all farmers at the moment, which is good. We're gonna need to cut trees down. That's, we're, we're completely out, so. <laughs> Do they have a stock, is this a stockpile that comes with, it looks like a stockpile. So we need to get everything sustained here again. So we're gonna need a quarry. Oh, but it's, it's right here. This is so nice. So we'll get the quarry down, right there. Easy, and then we're also gonna need a, well, charcoal maker for sure, but we gotta get a forester up first, so. This is great, this is really cool. <laughs> I assume that we're doing fine over here with everything. Yeah, we're increase, increase, yeah. So right now, Dragon's Bench is self-sustaining completely. We're max population. Everybody's okay. We're probably gonna get murdered by Vikings. This is I just all right. Let me let me slow down time for a sec. Oh, we have enough stone to build. Oh, but we've been oh, that's right. We've been racking up stone the whole time. Oh, this is cool because instead of just like sitting here idly, I now have another town to work on if I want to generate more resources. So we're gonna need a chamber of war for sure. How this thing's big, right? Yeah, oh, it's pretty big. Yeah, I guess that's fine. And then we'll just, we'll, we'll road right there. Yeah, we're gonna get double, double stacked with, that, with a Viking attack and a dragon attack. Back to back. All right, let's go up here. Oh, shoot, okay, wait. Please tell me they're not gonna come for Bruggen's Dent, please, no. It's just a poor, it's a poor little village. We need, oh wait, we need quarry workers to be high priority. Farmers, windmill workers. Okay, yeah, this is probably good. We're gonna need stone workers up here, though. Where are my Viking? Okay, they're they're <laughs> they're going past. That's a good thing. 
They gonna, are they gonna land here? They're like, oh no. Wait. Will the wolves attack them? I'm gonna get a- no way. I'm gonna get a dragon attack right on top of the viking attack. Oh boy. Archers fire! Where are they going? Oh, they're just going to burn shit. Wait, they haven't gone to my treasury yet. That's good. Do I have a chance to actually kill them? Wait, 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 we might actually kill them this time. Oh, we go. Hey! My archer towers actually did it. And we have a dragon attack. Right on, oh, there's more. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> well, we're in trouble. The dragon's toasting our farm. The archer towers are preoccupied. Wait, are these? Oh, are they leaving? Did some escape? No, wait, that's just an empty longship. What? How is that? Oh boy. We're getting decimated by. Okay, the dragon's leaving. Yeah, we don't have. We don't have a way to get. Peasants killed by a dragon. One. All right. Why am I not getting alerts for rebuild here? This was destroyed again. They hate that hovel. <laughs> All right, how are we doing? Oh, we have we have we had people, people join. This is great. All right, what we need to do now is get down a forester somewhere. Put him right there, and we'll do. Oh wait, we don't have enough wood. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, and we, oof, right now we don't have any farmers, but we, we timber workers are priority right now. Yeah, they have enough food, right? They'll be fine. We just need enough to build more houses. We should probably go for a cottage. Uh, I guess Hubble's probably better right now, to be honest. Oh, wait. So, oh, that's really cool. So the tax, the tax, yeah, yeah, zero percent. So we can't tax here yet, but we share, it shares coin, so I can tax all of, all of my cities, all of my castles within the kingdom. <laughs> what do they want, Nansa? Excess food? Ah, I can solve that problem. Maybe. I'm really out of room. Wait, what's it called? What, what's the rock removal? Oh, we still don't have enough tools or whatever for that. Well, I I gotta figure out a place to put on a new granary. Let's do that. We'll put some farms in the surrounding area. And we also need a place for more. Be oh wait, I did it. What is this? Hazard pay, start up all military forces, double damage for four times, okay, yeah, no thanks. So I think that means, yeah, we have the barracks and the archer school unlocked, and, oh, these are huge. <laughs> We're gonna have to clear cut an area. Let's see, Forester is still here. Let's go ahead and just like, well, let's just let's just clear cut this area. There we go. These trees regrew. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> they're regrowing faster than I can cut them down. <laughs> oh my god, there's more. Um, stop growing. <laughs> Alright, uh, here, I'm just gonna close this for a minute. We're gonna cut these trees so they won't grow back. Get our barracks ready. I'm gonna drop it there. I'm gonna put a few more cottages in. Like this. And we're gonna reopen here. And archery school, let's do that as well. I'm gonna put that, yeah, let's do what, we'll do this like this. That way we can have enough for a road to sneak in here. Oh, that's bad. 
That's a lot of uh, plague. <laughs> uh, hospital. Let's do a hospital because again, yeah, that's that has to be the front, right? Yeah. Let's put it there. We we'll got our road to go here. I'm actually gonna delete this. Yeah, we're gonna delete this and just do a nice little road connection right there. We can demolish that road as well. What can I stick in there? A one block thing. I mean, I could just put another charcoal maker down, I guess, right? It's probably fine. It's gonna piss off these houses for sure, but <laughs> look at all those projects. Oh, people are just pissed off. All right, let's go up, up top again. How are you doing? Oh, we're, we're almost starving. Oh, so they actually have farmers. Okay, so we need more houses. We're, oh, with, oh, the stock, oh, this is so good. I can just come back and they stockpiled so many resources. We can slap a manor down somewhere. Oh my goodness. Let's put a few manors out on the water. That's gonna be huge success for these guys. And then let's make, we're gonna need an industrial section somewhere for charcoal making and stuff. Let's put that over here. We'll try. We'll try to be like uber organized with this with this area. See how we can do. There we are. These houses are huge. My God. We're gonna need to get another well down too. <laughs> when we get a few more trees back. No. Our new manor's burning already? What <laughs> What did you guys do? What happened? <laughs> These look pretty cool though. I don't think- I, I didn't even build any manors from my other civilization, did I? I, I definitely didn't. <laughs> Alright, we, we have 70 beds over here now though. Let's try to prioritize some stuff, so... There we go. Alright, that will fill out. Ah, yes. Hospital. Oh, we're, it's all up. No staff to train soldiers. Okay, yeah, we, we need a lot more. Holy. This is a lot. 21 people for these two buildings. My goodness. That's crazy. So we're going to need like a massive... Oh, massive fire. The char charcoal maker lit himself on fire. Very nice. Should get some manners down. The manners are going up. Naomi was killed by wolves. Oh. <laughs> um, sorry about that. All right, the manor development is just going up. This is probably not a good place for a forester anymore. <laughs> it's kind of a cool little block that we have, though. Industries growing up around them. I should probably... Ah. Any chance I could... I sure can't... Wait. No, I don't have... Can I... How long does it take a, to train a squad? Let's go faster. Hold on, let's just... Yes. Vikings. Where are they at? Two, coming right in. Uh-oh. Can I get a squad out in time? Come on, soldiers. I don't know if we're gonna get this in time. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Here they come. They're running in. Come on, guys. Train. Train. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Alright, we can dump this back down now. Fill those other jobs. No way, our squad, he, they actually did it. They're preventing the Vikings from escaping. Yes! They can't really help out with... Recuperate. Ready on train Easter egg. Okay, so they can't, they can't recuperate until... Oh, we actually have enough people for that. All right, waiting for train Easter to arrive. So yeah. That's awesome, we did it. I'm gonna throw a stockpile up here as well, I think. Okay, there we go. So yeah, those guys obviously won't be able to, to defend against the dragon attack. The archers are for that, but they can literally stop like you guys, like you saw there.
they can stop and actually prevent the Vikings from walking past them, which is really good. So, first fully successful defense. They didn't even like get to really burn anything, I don't think. How are we doing up here? 31 out of 70 beds. We're, we're, we're getting there. Charcoal Matrix are going. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, we're, we're actually losing food. Let's make another... Do this out of farms right here, I think. That should do it for the farms for now. Then we can start expanding after that. Throw a big granary there too. Well, I think I'm going to wrap this episode of Kingdoms and Castles up here for today. We got a lot done. Pretty successful. We got our first successful defended Viking attack. We grew Dragon's Bench a little bit more. We got our military buildings going up and hopefully stabbed soon. Our people are really unhappy with us. Churches and libraries are too crowded. Taverns are too crowded. <laughs> we'll figure that out next time. We have a dragon attack coming in in a couple of years. And we established Bruggen's Dent. This is a really cool though. I, I didn't know about this feature and I'm really happy that you can actually do this. There's no way we can put something up there, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is really cool though. I'm really happy with this. And because like before, like I was saying, you used to literally have to bridge and then you have to like haul resources up and you know, you try to be building things up here and people have to run all the way carrying stockpiled resources up here and it would take forever and just wasn't generally that, you know, efficient. Starting having like little kingdoms that you can rule over that are still part, like you can tax them that are still part of your, your kingdom overall, having little cities and stuff is a really cool idea. Well, if you liked this episode of Kingdoms and Castles, hit that like button and press that subscribe button. It helps me out on the channel and, you know, it's something I say a lot, but it really does, it really does. I think about 70% of you guys who watch my videos in general are not subscribed, so I would really appreciate it if you do. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Dragon's Bench. Goodbye.